Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some of my most recent purchases. And for the most part, these are things that I haven't used yet. So please let me know down below if there are any items in particular you would like to see in a review. Uh, some of these items will definitely be featured in a get ready with me. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Now, before we get started, just a note, I did order the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. I'm very eager for that to come. I know a lot of people have already posted reviews on YouTube. Um, mine hasn't arrived yet. So I ordered within the first two minutes of the launch. Um, so it should be coming, but I just, I haven't received it. It's been a week and typically from Pat McGrath, uh, when I order during these launches, I usually get things within two days from her. So it's taking a little bit longer than usual, but that's not really to be expected, you know, during this time period. So hopefully it'll come soon and I'll have a review up as soon as I receive that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some of the products. Now, the first thing I'd like to mention is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. I finally received it. I ordered it about a month ago. It took about three weeks or so before it arrived. And um, I ordered directly from the Armani site. It is now available on Sephora. And if you are going to order this, I would recommend actually purchasing it from Sephora if you can, because Armani's shipping has been incredibly slow right now. So they've been running a lot of promotions um, to get like free products and things with purchase. Uh, mine in particular was not one of those deals, but uh, they are running a lot of those. And I've read a lot of comments about people's orders getting canceled or, you know, they have to wait like three or four weeks like I did for this. So um, I would order from Sephora at this time if you are interested in that. All right, so I will have a review of that up next week. I have been wearing it for the last few days to kind of get a feel for it. So I'll give you guys my thoughts on that next week. Um, I did place a small Sephora order. Um, it was actually, I was getting a gift for somebody and I just added on a couple items for myself. So uh, the first thing I ordered was one of the new Guerlain Rouge G cases. And this is the Tourmaline Dream. So these are the ones that look like the gemstones. And this is like a pretty like fuchsia pinky purple. And if you're familiar with these, so you've got the little sticker keeping it closed. And then it opens up to a mirror. And I've got another one here. So basically to keep these closed, the actual lipstick bullet, which you buy separately, has this little, little lip here. And just close that and stick it in. So I love these and I will be getting all of the new cases. So um, yeah, those should be coming soon. And jumping in here because I actually forgot a couple items. So this is another purchase from Sephora. This is one of the new Rowan lip glosses and it's the Kiss My line. And I purchased the shade Remy, which is think the lightest, I believe, what do they have? Three of them. And um, the lightest and the middle one really, actually all three of them look gorgeous, but I decided to start with the for light one. And let's see here. This is like really stuck. Um, but anyway, these are supposed to have a really interesting texture. So I'm eager to see what they feel like on the lips, but here is the shade Remy. It looks like a nice nude shade and rubbing this in, it feels really silky. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely eager to try this. Um, I wanted to show you actually the samples that I got from Sephora with this because I thought they were actually pretty decent this time. So um, I always get just like whatever shampoo and conditioner packets they have to try. So I got that. I always use those for traveling. Not that we have any plans to go anywhere, but I thought this was, I opened the box and was like, Dior, I didn't order anything from Dior, but these are actually the lipstick samples that I requested. And I just thought it was, they were kind of packaged nicely and it was a fair amount for free samples. So these are the Dior Addicts Stellar Shine. And I don't know, I just, I thought it was nicely packaged. So I wanted to share with you guys if you know, you're looking at samples and this ends up being an option. 
Um, I'd recommend trying it this way. And then I also got this. Um, this was the promo. This was actually a lip gloss I was looking at purchasing. So Shiseido came out with these new shimmer gel glosses and I really wanted to try one. I was actually looking at this shade and I got an email with, you know, one of those promotions when you spend what, like $25 or $35 or something. And this was one of the shades is Ginzu Red. So let's just see what that looks like. So I figured I'd just try it through here and see, you know, how I like it. But, you know, even though it says red, it's really more of a pink. It feels, I'll have to try it on my lips. It feels a little, little sticky here. Not bad, more like balmy sticky. Kind of like a lip balm with a little extra stick to it. Not as sticky as like some of those stickier lip glosses. So I'll have to try that on and see. But um, yeah, I was intrigued to try that. All right, so moving on. Another purchase that I finally received. So I don't even remember when it was. January, February when the Hermes lipsticks came out. When I originally ordered the two Hermes lipsticks that I have, I also ordered the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. And I have to say... I was a little disappointed. I just got it. So basically what happened was I ordered it and they told me it was in stock. It was supposed to be coming. Then I got a back order email and you know, they're like, oh, it'll take a couple extra weeks. Wait it and wait it and wait it. And then the pandemic started and I talked to a representative. They actually called me to see if I wanted to keep waiting for the product or if I wanted to um, get my money back. And I said, okay, well, if it's definitely coming, I will keep waiting. And so I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And two weeks ago, they finally said, it's not going to come. So they wanted to, um, you know, actually just trade this out for a different product, um, like a Dior lipstick. And I was like, no, th I really wanted this particular product. So I just canceled that order. Then they popped up on Nordstrom and I ordered it from there and got it within a couple days. So I finally got the Poppy Lip Shine, which was the Hermes lip product that I was most excited about. I can't believe it took this long to get, but you know, they come in this little box and I do like the Hermes lipsticks I have. I just don't necessarily find them to be, you know, anything worth the price to continue buying those. Um, I don't know, I'll probably buy them periodically, but it's not, it's not something where I wanna collect those and have all of them because I don't find them to be worth the $67 price tag or 72 if you're buying the limited edition colors, but I do actually really like them. However, this Poppy Lip Shine, I really, really want it because it was you know, more sheer and kind of like a tinted orangey lip balm. I thought it'd be beautiful, beautiful for the summer. So that's it. I can't wait to try that out. I mean, if you can see in here, it's got this sparkle and there's a little bit of translucency to this tip. So if you can see that, so you can see how sheer the product will be just by looking at this. So this is, it's not a limited edition color, um, but it does have the special too because it's a lip shine and not one of the lipsticks. So very eager to try this out. All right, so other things I purchased. Um, Ray Chuve is a skincare line that I have been really wanting to try. The products are very expensive. I actually don't really need much skincare right now, but I did decide to try the Luminous Cleansing Elixir. Uh, they had a sale for Memorial Day, so I purchased this and I got the Nutrient Face Serum sample and these are um, samples of the Skin Brilliance Priming Pad. So I think there's just one pad in each of these. So I'm very eager to try that. And the other item I really want to try from them is the eye cream, or rather the eye serum, eye concentrate, whatever it's called. But I, uh, you know, I just don't need one right now. So I decided to wait until the fall when I'm a little closer to using up my current eye cream. Um, so moving on, I received my Sisley order. So I ordered the eye contour mask from Sisley. I used their eye contour gel for my eyes. So I had heard good things about using this mask overnight once in a while. Uh, so I decided to try this. And this 
comes in this tube. It's made in France and what is it? It's 30 milliliters or one ounce. So let's see what this looks like. So it looks mostly white, but there's actually like a pale minty tinge to it. Not a minty feeling, just minty color. And yeah, I mean, it feels creamy and emollient. Um, the gel that I use actually feels a little bit stickier. This feels a little thinner. I think this will be nice. So I'll test this out. And then the other items I purchased from the Sicily sale, I've got the Fido Puja Libra powder and I wasn't sure which shade to purchase, but I ended up deciding to purchase the pink shade, the Rose Orient. So this is shade number three. And let's see, so we've got a mirror inside, there's a puff, and then the powder itself um, has a sifter with this plastic. Oh good, sometimes, you know, when you pull these off of the powder sifters, the powder all comes flying in your face. So I'm glad that didn't do that. All right, let's see. Smell something. I think I have too many products on my hand to truly tell. But when I open this, I definitely smell a floral scent. Not, I can't tell if it's just rose or rose mixed with something else, but it, that's what it kind of reminds me of. So let me see if it says anything on here. There is hibiscus extract and tilia cordata flower extract. I'm not sure what that, what kind of flower that is, but maybe those are contributing to that. But here is the actual powder. I shouldn't have put this here. Let's put it here. We'll put it next to the balm. Here, I'm gonna put some on my wrist here. Okay, you can't really see it, <laughs> but um, definitely intrigued to try that. It really blended in well and it made my hand more matte here. You can see right in between the poppy shine and the Sisley eye mask. Um, so it's definitely mattifying in that sense. So I think the scent is from the hibiscus flower extract and it says it right, <laughs> right in the front, um, right here, loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract. So, you know, that's probably what the, the scent is I'm smelling. This is made in Italy and is 0.42 ounces or 12 grams. Now I read online about this. I read some reviews and some people said that there was like a pearlescence to this and others said it was pretty matte and they didn't really, they didn't see any shimmer or anything in there. I will have to look a little closer, but from my hand, I don't see any shimmer. It looks, you know, it seems to mattify my hand here. So if you look right in between the poppy and the eye mask, it's a little bit matter and yeah, I don't see any shimmer. So I'll look at that more closely. And then I also purchased one of the Fido Lip Twists. So I purchased the shade Nude and I have one of the Fido Eye Twists, which I like. Um, so I actually wanted to get one of the blushes as well, but they didn't have the color that I wanted. So I waited till the very end of the sale and it, it didn't come back. So here is the Nude. Let me put this on my wrist here. That looks really pretty. I think I'm gonna like this color. So there were quite a few colors and I had a really hard time deciding. I kept trying to look up swatches and you know, I wasn't super successful finding swatches that looked like they'd be really accurate. So um, yeah, I really like this color. Okay, jumping in here because I forgot another item. This is um, from Sisley. So I wanted to try one of the new eyeshadows. I've tried them on before, um, but I never purchased one. But they had this deal where you get like a mascara sample if you purchase, you know, this single. This is the shade number 12, Silky Rosé. And it was one of the shades I was interested in. Um, you know, the taupe one that I really wanted was out of stock. So I decided to go ahead and try this. And actually this, you know, looks a little bit more nude than, than I expected. So let's see how this looks. So here it is on my finger. Yeah, you know, it's actually, I thought it'd be like more of a light pearly pink, 
but it's actually like a pearly peachy pink. So there's definitely peach in there. And so it's a little bit warmer toned than I expected, but pretty neutral on the spectrum. Um, these compacts, you know, it's a plastic compact. There is a mirror at the top. And then it does come with a little applicator, which fell out. So just a little, cute little tiny applicator. I never use these. I actually give them to my kids. <laughs> so they always play with all of those little brushes and applicators. Um, and then again, it came in this little bundle with this mascara. So it's just, sorry, this is my tag from the Guerlain. I just stuck it on here. But this is the So Intense Mascara. So um, just a little sample size of it. So that is everything. Of course, with Sisley, I did get two samples. They came in this little pouch. They are, if you're familiar with the Sisley pouch samples, they're pretty small. Um, but this is the Pure Bright Activating Serum from the Phyto Blanc collection. I have been eager to try that. I want to see if it does anything for any of these spots. But... I don't think I'll be able to tell from these little sample sizes. And then the eye fluid contour, um, the, the new one from the Black Rose line, the eye contour fluid. fluid. Curious about this. I was kind of down between this or the Retrouve eye serum next. So, you know, we'll see which one seems more interesting. If any of you guys have used both of those or one of those and you have a recommendation, I'd love to hear it. I won't actually need to replace my I stuff probably until you know fall winterish, but I'm always looking and you know making my lists. So um, those are the purchases that I have received so far, and you know I don't think I have too much else on order. Let me think. The only other thing I have on order besides the Divine Rose two is the Tom Ford Illuminate Face and Eye Palette in Moonlit Violet. I couldn't decide. I put a poll up on, on my Instagram stories and most of you guys said to go ahead and pick that up and I ended up caving. I was afraid it would go out of stock before I did. I couldn't decide if I wanted to pick up a second color or not, but I figured we'll just stick with the one I'm most interested in and you know see how that goes. And yeah, I'm excited to get that and I hope it is it lives up to the hype. So um, those are it for my most recent purchases. I did get the majority of my Westman Atelier stuff, so I will have that review coming up soon. So right now I have the Peau de Peche um, highlight, the Peau de Rosé highlight, got the Lit Up, the Biscuit, is it called Biscuit? Um, you know, the contour stick, the um, three of the blushes, the foundation stick is still coming, and um, I did just put out my review on the new iPods. I also have the lip suede. So I am very eager to go through everything and um, show you guys. I did also purchase a couple of the brushes. Or, well, I have four of them now because I purchased the two eye ones. But this is the buffing brush and this is the baby blender. I think it is so, so cute. So, um, yeah, this is what actually caused my package to take a little while to come because it was back ordered. But I think this brush is so adorable. So um, that is another review that will be coming up soon. It's gonna be pretty extensive. I'm definitely trying to kind of test things out in different situations to get, you know, real, really accurate opinions on that. So um, that's everything. And I hope this was interesting for you guys. And Thanks for sharing my goodies with me and I hope to see you guys in my next video. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.